friends, my name is Rupa. I hope you all are fine in this corona time. Now I am going to explain trigonometry topic 2 part 3. Now see, I am explaining topic now. See, when we are doing trigonometry, we want to take only right angle triangle. In this, the L shape, this is right angle triangle. This is right angle, 90 degrees. And the opposite side of this is hypotenuse. When we will take the angle for measuring is theta here, then this is the opposite side of the theta. And this is adjacent side of the theta. Now next, this is right, uh, right angle. Now the theta is here. So this is the opposite side and this is adjacent. You can find difference between thetas, theta changing and adjacent and opposite sides will change. Hypotenuse will not change. When the triangle face the uh, another side, you will take hypotenuse as the opposite of right, right angle. Now we will see about sin theta. The full form of sin theta is sin theta. The pronunciation is same, but the spelling is different. S I N E theta, the full form. But the short form is sin theta. S I N theta. Next, we will see the formula of sin theta. The sin theta equals to opposite side by hypotenuse. Now we will take theta is this, then the opposite side this. We will take this as two. For example, this is two. And this is 3. This is 3 and this is 2. Now, the sine theta of this is opposite by adjacent. Now, is equals to 2 by 5 is the sine theta. But here, hypot for finding hypotenuse, there is a formula. This is wrong. This is wrong hypotenuse. We will take 5. We will do with formula. The formula is side square plus side square equals to hypotenuse square. We will see. 2 square plus 3 square equals to hypotenuse square. Then 2 square 4 plus 3 square 9 equals to hypotenuse square. 4 plus 9 is 13. 13 equals to hypotenuse square then hypotenuse equals to root of 13 now this is the hypotenuse root 13 now here will be root 13 root 13 now this is the sine theta next we will see about cos theta and so on now we will see about cos theta now cos theta equals to adjacent by hypotenuse the side angle of theta is adjacent, adjacent side. Now, the cos theta is known as adjacent by hypotenuse. Okay, now we will see formula of tan theta. Tan theta equals to opposite side by adjacent side. Now, that is written as also sin theta by cos theta. How we will see now? Sin theta. Sin theta means opposite by hypotenuse. And cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse. Here is dividing so that we will reciprocal. Now it will be hypotenuse by adjacent. by adjacent. So, opposite by adjacent. We can get like this also. Now, we will see about cot theta. Now, we will see about cot theta. Cot theta is 1 by tan theta. Tan theta is opposite by adjacent. So, cot theta adjacent by opposite. That means cos theta by sin theta. This is also an easy formula. Adjacent by opposite. 
and we will see about second theta. Second theta is hypotenuse by adjacent. This is also written as 1 by cos theta because the cos theta formula is adjacent by hypotenuse. 1 by adjacent by hypotenuse. Then this will be reciprocal. This will be reciprocal. So it will come hypotenuse by adjacent. Now this is the second theta. And we will see about the last formula that is cosecant theta. Now we will see about cosecant theta. Cosecant theta equals to hypotenuse by opposite. This is also written as 1 by sin theta. We will see how 1 by sin theta will come. Now 1 by sin theta formula is opposite by hypotenuse. 1 here it is dividing with 1 then it will be reciprocal. So hypotenuse by opposite. Now this is the formula of all sin 2 cosecant theta. Now we will meet in the next episode. Bye friends. We will see in the next episode. Now please subscribe my channel. Like videos and see all the videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching.